that was almost my ass. Like, I survived, like, encounter with people that's, like, could get you booked. It's like scary. Like as a young boy, even to have police come, you would think like, damn, they about to really have me out here looking like a dickhead. Yo, man, you already know what it is. And if you don't, pause the video right now. Just make a shout out to your mom and come make the video and smash that like button. Listen, man, I'm coming to you guys with another. Oh, before we get into this video, let me grab my AirPods and grab my laptop. Make sure I drop a like and subscribe. Listen, this is a banger. This ain't no ordinary video. We about to get right into that, this intro. Alright. Story time, story time, story time. Um, I guess I could talk about this time. I wanted to wait until I had about 50 subscribers or a bean. Say... I'm gonna save the one video I'm thinking about. I'm gonna tell y'all the one job. The one video, I mean, the one story was a time where it was me and a couple of my other friends that I used to hang out with when I used to go to a certain park after school. And the crazy thing about this is we all decided one day we went to the park, we was all playing ball. We was tired of shit. Like we didn't even want to hoop for real after a while. And then we was like, you know what? Y'all trying to go to the store? I'm like, you trying to go to the store? Bro, I ain't even got no funds right now. Like, my mom ain't give me no bread. This time, you got to rely on your folks to give you money and shit. Shit, me and pull. Fucking. Weeks old. We at the weed down hooping. We tired, sweaty, drained out. Mind you. Uh, it's me and two other niggas that's the only black ones there. So it was a Cambodian ball, some white Johns, and a Rican John. So we decided to all go in that John. So that's what we did. We went in. We like, oh, we like, see what you can grab. In my head, I'm like, bro, I'm already black. They not going to hear nothing I got to say if they catch me with anything. So we in there, we grabbing shit here and there, sticking shit in uh, the one Chinese bull bag, the white bull, he got all this shit in his pants, bro. The bull come, he taking everything. He like, all right, he on everything. This nigga used to go into Walmart. Before Walmart used to have shit locked up on a, like on a heavy note, he used to go in there and grab shit and never would get caught. So. We was in that joint. It wasn't like a grocery store type joint. I don't know if it was Audi's or whatever it was called at the time. We was in there. Wild boy come around the corner like, come here, come into this office. I'm like, for what? He said, step in my office. I'm like, yo, these niggas think I stole something. Whole time I'm over here like, not touching nothing, pen shit in the other niggas bag, but they just already targeting me cause I'm black. Mind you, at the time, probably like 13, 14, you know what I'm saying? They talking about they about to call my folks. I'm like, wow, y'all ain't find nothing. Like, why y'all y'all why y'all doing all that? I'm like, damn. Like, in my head, I'm thinking, yo, the niggas that actually got something, y'all not even checking. Like, y'all want to check me because y'all think I automatically got something in my bag because I'm black. So, mind you, he had us sitting there waiting, sweating it out. We like, yo, we should never came in here with these niggas, yo. Racism still alive, racism still exists. You know what I'm saying? Got to that point where it was like, damn, it's the last straw. <laughs> am I going, am I going, you know what I'm saying? Am I about to get booked for this shit? I used to hear stories about my mom always talking about how my aunt got arrested for stealing like a, a yo-yo or some shit. I'm thinking in my head like, I want to get booked just by being in here with these white niggas and the Chinese world. They never going to think to search. Mind you, they still in the store taking everything in that bitch. They leave out that jump. They finally let us go. I'm thinking in my head like, damn, that was almost my ass. Like I survived like encounter with people that's like could get you booked. It's like scary, like as a young boy, even to have police come, you'll think like, damn, they about to really have me out here looking like a dickhead. In reality, you already lost as a black man, but in your mindset, you have to already be a winner. They wanna see you lose, they wanna, they, I mean, they wanna fuck you over. That's the thing that these people be doing. As a young boy, I learned that 
at an early age. Like, just because I'm black don't mean I'm safe. You know what I'm saying? Just because I'm brown skin or whatever, whatever it may be the case. Bro, listen to me when I'm telling y'all. Understand me. Don't overstand me. Understand me. Bro. Black people still got the shirt under the stick. But it all starts today. Today that you watch this video. Sunday. Today. Not even today. Today. So the day that you officially watch this video doesn't matter if it's the day that I drop or a year later from now. Just remember, you are black and you're powerful. The reason why they put the slaves on the plantation because they were stronger, faster, more powerful. One thing that they lack that we all started to gain over years is knowledge. They didn't know how to read. Now they know how to read. You feel me? But that time we came outside, I'm like, yo, that's crazy. They ain't think to check out one time. They're like, ah, I know that shit crazy. What they tell you? I'm like, said, don't come in the store no more unless we got money. They started laughing. Like, yo, that shit crazy. Them niggas got popsicles, sodas, all these types of juices. You see the security board come out. Security board come out like. Yo, why is he, what he said? He said, oh, how y'all doing? This and that. He like, bruh, you just took me in that office trying to get me booked. Ain't nothing was going on. They out here eating the shit that they didn't even pay for. And you worried about how our day going? My day going shitty because of you, motherfucker. I'm, I don't want to do nothing else bad no more, even if I'm not the one stealing. Because if I was the one stealing, I would have been the one getting in trouble. And they would have all went the fuck home. They all cool folks and all that. But I don't hang with them like that no more. Reason why? Because they put you in certain situations that'll fuck up you and not even them. Because they don't look at it as their skin color is the reason or being a problem of them doing anything. They can still do all this shit and then walk right out. They can stick there. You ever seen that uh John on um Don't Be a Menace in the Hill by drinking and juice in the South Central, bro? Yes. White people could come in, stick their hand in the cash register. And fucking walk right out. Black Christian walk in trying to leave out with a candy bar or something. The niggas already on their wood. Like, just because he's black. I ain't missing. If you guys enjoyed this little mini video, story time Sunday. I didn't want to make it too long. I wanted to talk about something that was very quick, easy to talk about topic. I don't really have that many stories that I want to share right now at this point. We've been starting story time Sunday since Father's Day. Ever since Father's Day, all the way to August. Listen, man. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, comment, subscribe. If you're new, definitely subscribe. We got more content coming. And you already know, man. Rock out.